Welcome to the Specialty Products Company installation video for the 66050 Chrysler and Dodge Rear Camber Kit. This kit combines our previous four kits into just one, allowing adjustment of rear camber on all Chrysler LX platform cars regardless of model year, and will provide up to 1.5 degrees of positive or negative camber change. This includes the Chrysler 300, Dodge Magnum, Charger, and Challenger. This kit eliminates the complications of the two different bushing sizes Chrysler is used and can be installed on either the aluminum or steel rear upper control arms. Please follow all safety precautions associated with the equipment used to install this product. Start by lifting the rear of the vehicle and supporting it securely. Now remove the tire and wheel assembly. Remove the stock bolts and nuts, securing both of the rear upper control arms to the knuckle. Retain these bolts for reassembly. Lift the arms up or lower the hub assembly for better access to the outer bushings. Using the 66025 press tool adapter along with the 40920 bushing press kit, press out the forward control arm outer bushing. The new bushing for the forward arm will be stepped and it will have front stamped on the face. The marks on the bushing are there to clock the bushing for the correct camber change. The marks will go towards the center of the vehicle for positive camber change or outwards towards the wheel for negative camber change and should be lined up with the center line of the arm. If less than 1.5 degrees of camber is desired, index the marks only in the direction indicated. The bolt hole will be towards the bottom part of the arm. On aluminum arms, if the smaller step is used, press the bushing in from the back to the front. If the larger step is used, press the bushing in from the front to the back. This will bias the control arm away from the knuckle assembly. On steel control arms, always press the bushing in from the dish side. On steel arms, it is important to make sure that when the bushing is installed, it is centered on the arm. This will keep it retained properly. Now, using the same press tool and adapters, press out the bushing on the rear control arm. The new offset bushing for this arm has rear stamped on the face along with index marks, but this bushing is not stepped like the front. This means this bushing can be pressed in like any standard bushing. Just make sure it is in the center of the control arm and the index marks are in the same location as the front bushing. This holds true for the steel control arms also. Now it is time to reassemble. Fasten the control arms to the knuckle assembly using the stock bolts and nuts. With the suspension properly loaded, torque the nuts to manufacture specifications. Reinstall the tire and wheel assembly and lower the vehicle. With the alignment equipment attached, check camber readings and adjust rear, then front toe to proper specifications. Check for component clearances and road test the vehicle.